Hey guys, welcome back to episode 16. In today's video, I want to show you that I want to prove to you that market is not manipulated. Market is planned. And you don't, if you don't have a blueprint, if you don't know what you're doing in the chat, trust me, you will always see that that market is manipulated. They have no time. The banks and the institution, whoever controls the market, they don't have time to manipulate the charts. What they do in advance, they plan everything. So it's your work and my work to unveil the plan. So sit back, relax. I want to unveil this plan for you and let us see how the market, the Forex market is planned. And if you can take my blueprint today, trust me, you'll be seeing things differently. So when you open your daily chart, because for me, I love analyzing using daily time frame rather than four hour time frame. If I'm analyzing four hour, I have no option because maybe daily is ranging or the structure is not well, like um, I cannot understand daily, but if daily there's something, I'll stick to it. Guys, I want you to pay attention on two things. I want you to pay attention on this kind of a market. This is a market that um, was consolidating. We want just to analyze. This is the market that has been on a channel for us for so long. So this is July, Monday, 11th July. And then the breakout was September. So we have July, we have August, September, two good months. The market was in the ranging zone. So how we know that this market, uh, if it has completed this channel, if we measure that distance and we can see that the market has not yet completed. And the way I know most channel have to complete. So the first red flag that this market can continue going up is because the channel has not completed. So you will write first pattern that is in that market. So if you didn't see that pattern when you're doing your analysis, trust me, you have no blueprint. You don't know the direction. You don't know where you're going to. But you see, many people don't even want to understand where the market is coming from. They want to understand where the market is going. There is too much difference in that st statement. There is, there is one way of knowing where the market is coming from, and there is the other, there is the other way of knowing where it's going to. Trying to understand what the market will do from here, will it go down or will it go up, will be determined by you understanding what has been happening in the next two months, three months, one year. And that's why actually we do top-down analysis. But in this video, we are not going to monthly time frame. We won't go to weekly time frame. We will stick to daily time frame. So we'll stick to daily time frame and we want to unveil the plan because as long as you don't have the plan of the banks in your hands, in your eyes, look out. If you don't have that plan, trust me, it will not be easy to trade this market. So the market is important to understand where it has been coming from. And as I have told you, this market has been on a channel for two good months. And they did the break here. There was a break of structure and the market has come up. And I believe they first hit half because most channel, they first complete half. Can you see how exactly the half is? Guys, market is planned, not manipulated. If you ever hear someone saying, oh, market is manipulated, trust me, they have not done their homework and they don't know anything for extra. They're just saying it's manipulation, it's manipulation. It is your work to unveil the plan. You can see the market has consolidated or ranged along the half. And for me, I know that. So if they have broken the half, they are going to the next resistance. That one I know. So with this information that the market has been on a channel and it is on the way, going how many pips, let's say, how many pips with this market will go? 141 pips. Anything that I will see on my way, it's a distraction. That's what I call it. So guys, 
when you're going on a journey, let's say you're going from one city to the next city, and on the way you, you decide maybe to take a lunch or to take something on the way, and maybe you enter in a hotel, do you forget where you are going? Do you now stay in the hotel and tell them you want even to sleep there? No, you finish your food and you continue. And that's what I believe. This market, maybe it is on a bus stop. Maybe it is on a restaurant. Maybe it is just taking a rest. They have not forgotten. They have not forgot that they are coming to hit that zone. So what are you supposed to do as a trader? You're supposed to know anything that is coming on your left side is a distraction. And this is what we have. So the mistake that people do is to concentrate on the obstacle, give them more power, and then understand that the obstacle is the actual move. How can this market now make a double top and you are so sure that the market will respect the double top and will have rejection and the market will go down. And people, this is how they trade. They open the chart and they want to see what is the obstacle? Where is the market going to? Rather than asking themselves, where did the market came from and what might stop it for a while before completing the pattern that it started? There's so much difference on that. So I'll push that and make it much yellow. Like I'll make it color yellow so that we can know that is the distance we want to cover. And this one, I'll make it color black so that you may know that we have a possible double top. Having this as possible double top is not a problem. It is not a problem at all. Do you know what is the problem? Focusing on this double bottom and forgetting you are on a journey. So double top is not a problem. So what happens is that people now will see the double top and then they will come and view the neckline. The neckline is the end of that box. And then they do what? They measure half. So that part everyone knows because I teach this on my YouTube channel, how to know the half. And if you can notice that is the half. So we have something like that. So we have possible double top, the neckline, the half, the channel. I want to show you how they are planning. When they are planning all this, there's a video I did and I told you that Forex charts are chameleon. For you to keep up with the color of the chameleon, it is work and you have to train your eyes to always spot on the right thing. So that is my neckline. And now I have my half. That is my half, guys. That is my half. So I have my half over there. I have my possible double top and I know where I'm going. I will not ignore the possible double top and I buy and I cannot buy. And again, there's something interesting that I am seeing here. On this leg that the market is going up, we have a break of structure. Can you see? So all these things, the banks and the institution know the retail trader cannot retain them in their head. We have a break of structure and this is a mini uh, channel that has broken. What does this tell us? This tell us just because this mini channel has broken, the market is ready to cover that distance. It might not be now, it might not be next week, but trust me, keep it in mind, they are coming back. So even where we were thinking that our resistance will be targeted, we have now gone much higher. We have TP1, TP2, and trust me, they have to get to those two because the bigger ranging, it has to reach to TP1. The small ranging, it has to reach to TP2. Now, when you are trading double top, many people won't see the first ranging, first pattern I've shown you. Second pattern, can you see the second pattern came before the double top? Second pattern. The second pattern. And then we have what? The third pattern. Now the third pattern is now the possible double top, double bottom. A double top, sorry. So the third pattern is the possible double top. What you need to understand is that 
The Z pattern can be used for short term entries. And if at all you have been following my video for long now, possible double, double top, we use WBB strategy. And it is very easy, guys. We use WBB strategy to enter. So for you, you cannot sell if WBB strategy has not been activated. So the only way you can sell this possible double top is for WBB strategy. And the first entry signal is number one, wait for red candle. Number two, check if it's bearish because you want to sell engulf. Number three, if not, WBB. So remember, pattern three is as important, but our focus is not to the end goal. We will trade it a slow step by step, if not WBB, because we have to keep in mind pattern one and pattern two. Many people forget pattern one and they forget pattern two. Now, it is you waiting for red candle. Let's now wait for the red candle. Let's wait for the red candle. Next day, what did we get? We got the red candle. So because now we have the red candle, we have to ask ourselves, is the red candle bearish engulf? Because that is what we have said. Wait for red candle, check if it's bearish engulf. Do you think these are bearish engulf? Of course, yes we have a bearish engulf. I told people, if you want to know if the market has engulfed, you draw the line up to the lowest week of the green candle, and if it has broken, it has engulfed. The way I teach my students and even you people here, I tell you, if you enter here, your take profit is at the half. Because we have to take profit, we have to take profit one, follow, because this is very important, TP1, and then we have TP2. TP2, it is at the neckline. So you need to note that when we have a bearish angle or WBB, when we put the box and the, break, the box break, two things can happen. You need to understand two things can happen. You can trade up to the half. That is your first take profit. And then wait the half to be broken the half is the green line, to be broken with the red for you to sell again up to TP2. So let me repeat again. Bearish and gold is giving us authorization of selling up to half. And we take our, our trade, our profit, and we wait again up to half being broken with the body. So that's what we want. That's what we want. We want this market to break. And then after it breaks, we do what? we enter again. So your attention is, how many pips am I getting in this trade? And you're on a journey. Don't forget your journey, even if you get an entry. So it is 217 pips. You can even take like, um, let's say 180 pips. So you can be like, I will even target 180 pips like that. You see? So you're not even so greedy with every little bit of it. Say, I will be targeting. Let me first remove that box so that we can see that cell. So I want to remove this box. I will repeat it. So when, where I've put my TP1, I know my TP1 can give me 217 pips, but I have chosen 180 pips there. That is where I have chosen. And the reason why you are doing this is because it's because you know sometimes market may not reach half. So you have covered yourself. So that's 180. So let's see what happened the first day. So the first day, buyers come in, you're not worried. Second day, the market starts to go down. That day, the market starts to go down. Fourth day, fourth day, <laughs> fifth day, and the last sixth day. Guess what? Our 180 pips. Actually, if you targeted to the half, 
all the 217 fibs you would have taken. The problem is after now you have achieved that double top, don't forget about the channel. This market did what? Had a break. The market broke. The market did what? The market broke. It broke a channel. Now, for us even to continue selling, we need a break. But you see, if you don't have pattern one in your mind, you don't have pattern two, you only have pattern three. Trust me, you will be staring at this market waiting for what? For the break. For your work, you'll be, oh, they're not breaking. You'll be feeling frustrated because, oh, this should be red. The double top is not breaking half for you to continue selling. You think that selling is easier than you looking out and seeing other golden opportunities. As you're waiting for your sell to break the half, what you don't know, there is pattern four that has been created. Guys, are you following? Are you following? Pattern four has been created. Now this is pattern four. And you see, if pattern three was created and it happened, pattern four, they can create it and the market can still buy. Because pattern four, it is a possible double top. If you guys, you don't think the market is planned, you think it is manipulated, watch this video 10 times. So we have possible double bottom. That is our fourth pattern. Now, if at all your work is to come and check the market once in a week, how will you ever know that these patterns are coming? So what we are calling possible double bottom, we need to have our half. So I will do broken lines because I don't want to have too many lines. Our half will be there, broken lines like that. So that is our half. And then our neckline is also a broken line. So I have two confirmations there. So if the market breaks my half, remember, there's someone who was left at pattern three double top. So for me, I will watch my market as it breaks the half of the possible double bottom or it breaks the half of possible double top. I'm not biased because I know the market is planned, not manipulated. So let's see what happens. What happens, guys? What do I get? I get a break at half. I have a now a new entry. This is very interesting, guys. For me, I am buying up to the neckline another 188 pips. Another 188 pips. Well, my fellow traders, they are waiting for break of half of double top. So I'm waiting on that half. I'm waiting. So for me, even I don't use stop loss. So 180 pips. I am aware if the tip is hit, I have to look again, not to miss out on anything. I have to look out again, not to miss out on anything. So 180 pips. I can even target 150. I can even target 150. So I can target there. So guys, I can even target low like that. And I wait. So that is pattern four now manifesting. So we see the market reacting at that half. The second day, that day. And the fourth day, guess what? My possible double bottom has been activated and completed to the neckline. So what happens is that if you are just paying attention on double top, you are first frustrated because you don't know what is happening. And the double top, for you, you, you think, oh, but they have not violated the double top. Maybe they'll give me, you are still stuck on this double top. They'll give me now a new double top because you think it has not violated. But do you know what for me I'm thinking? 
I'll come and first remove now the analysis of the channel. I remove the half, the half was broken. So I will not remove the possible double bottom because I want to see, to show you how market is planned. I'll come and pay attention on what the neckline did. What did my neckline do? My neckline was broken. Guys, if the neckline of double bottom or double top is broken, what are you supposed to do? The market, the market should go that distance. The market buys that distance. Can you see? So the market now has an opportunity of even buying more. You see, now we are being even pushed. Remember, we had to take profits. Now we are even being pushed. And this and this buy is of a result of a double bottom that has broken what? The neckline. We want to see how powerful it is. Always note that anyone who was looking at pattern three, the possible double bottom, they have put their line hoping that the buyers don't break there. And when they put that, they notice that their double top has been broken. You see? Oh, no, no, it has not been broken. Let me put it color red. Sorry. Let's see if it has been broken. Guys, has it been broken? No. So the market makers have planned this market, whatever, whoever, such that if you are hoping that now you will have a new possible double top, you still have hope. But after the next candle, that hope is taken away. Now do you know that for them doing that, they have created the five pattern. <laughs> you guys, you have to watch this video 10 times. They have created pattern five. Who can guess in the comment section which pattern that has been created? Which pattern do you think was created after that? Let me show you. If you said cup and handle, you are correct. Because cup and handle is a failed double top. I normally teach this on my mentorship group, so I will not dwell on the cup and handle is a pattern that I teach on the students. So just note, I can tell you what happens. If a possible double top reaches half, fails to break half, come back again and break the first attempt of the double top, it will go this distance. Now, let me tell you, all along, they were promoting a buy without you realizing. The market overall, it is covering that distance. Can you see now? So this market, the overall, it will cover that distance, the overall. So there's the channel, the bigger channel, there's the double bottom, and there's the cup and handle. So pattern five. So now they have arrested their case because they have evidence, even if they buy this market, they have evidence why they are buying it. But the retail trader, they are complaining that the possible double top was manipulated and they are crying saying, oh, market makers manipulate the market. It was a double top. Who told you? The beginning of this trade was a channel. That's where we started. So the completion of this channel, so it's, it, it, it's either they complete this channel like that, they complete it, so that is the completion of this channel, take profit one. They complete the channel, the mini channel. They complete the double bottom and they complete the cup and handle. Guess which pattern has been thrown outside? Which pattern do you think they have no business? The third pattern. And it is the only pattern that was used to throw off all the retail traders. The pattern that draws the retail traders, they don't have the plan of. But pattern one, the pattern one, they have the, they, they, they have the take profit here. And then they have the pattern two, which is the mini ranging. They have the take profit. The pattern three, pattern four now for the double bottom is this complete and the overall. Guys, I will not take much time. Let's play and see. Did it hit to pattern the last? So first candle, 
repeat pattern completion of those patterns that were previous, pattern one and pattern two. Let's see if it hit the pattern four, the double bottom. So I will play it quickly. Did it hit pattern four? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Now the overall, the cup and handle, did it hit the cup and handle? Let's see. Did the cup and handle hit? Yes, exactly. The cup and handle was hit. So guys, what I want to tell you, when you see this stretch, many people say this is manipulation of the banks. I'm here to tell you Forex charts are not manipulated. They are planned. If you cannot unlock the key, if you cannot unlock this, all these patterns and be able to learn and be able to tell what is happening, trust me, you have a long journey and you can only start from today. Use video as a reference. Ask yourself, do I know where the market is coming from rather than where the market is going to? Thank you so much, guys. I love you. I hope you have learned. I am teaching you with passion and with much love for everyone to understand this concept. And I hope from this video, I have created millionaires. I have created people will be profitable. From this video, some lives have been changed. Thank you so much, guys. Love you.